Guys, it's Christian here, and uh, I want to do a little um, how-to on uh, potting up seedlings. And well, I'll try to put this up front, but this is a uh, Beccario Phoenix Alfredii in a four-inch pot, three to four-inch pot, and it is ready to be repotted into. I'm going to put them in at three gallons because they're quite fast growers here. Now, usually, you can tell it's ready to uh, be repotted when you can do that to it. I wouldn't do that to any, you know, every plant, but. There's a little bit of roots coming out of the bottom. A lot of times they'll get overgrown and it can be quite a pain. I actually recommend using non-reusable pots. You can actually split these open and just throw the, you know, recycle the plastic. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to my little dirt pile and you can shovel it, but I'm just gonna do it by hand here just for the sake of getting a little bit more camera friendly. And you wanna get it to a, you know, a height that is about maybe two thirds of the way, maybe a little bit, maybe three quarters. And you kind of want to pop the palm out from the middle. You don't really want to yank this until you know it's loose. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a, the, the root wants to hang a little bit here at the bottom. So you kind of want to guide it if you can. Certain, well, soil will go get loose as you can see. And this will be a, a pain on some palms where I'm just going to rip the, the bottom here. So these are pretty, these can take a little bit of abuse, not that I want to abuse them, but when roots get all tangled, you just kind of want to separate yourself from that. Um, so now it's here in the pot and just kind of want to, first of all, now that the soil is gone from the top, but you kind of want to make sure the soil is not stiff. You want to break the, the old soil into the new soil, which is a little more better draining, but allows the roots to kind of mesh in and take, take a, hold there so I'm going to kind of fill this up this is kind of like just a raw way to do it real fast but maybe using a potting soil that's not quite as large as this um, this little bag of it but the idea is the same you kind of want to pot it up to right where the, there's a seed right here I know that's kind of where the base of the palm is and on Alfredi eyes the base is always going to be a purple which you can see right here so a little bit more and you don't want to over pot it where the trunk starts getting uh, starts getting covered you can get a base rot from that now that's pretty much it these are relatively easy and these do grow you can see this is there's a little bit of yellowing on it you know this leaf is a nice green color um, but these do suffer from an iron and manganese problem and this is a uh, nine month um, fertilizer that is polymer coated and will uh, it's time release so you can pretty much, you can apply this liberally. Now you don't want to take the fertilizer you put on your lawn and throw it in this pot. You'll burn the plant up. It'll, it'll die quite quickly from the uh, excessive nitrogen in, in the uh, lawn fertilizer. This is a uh, 1868 and I get it from, it's a Nutricoat. It's from Florican, but it's their Nutricoat brand. So that's pretty much it. All you want to do from here is you just want to water it in. You can, you want to kind of pack it down a little bit Make sure you know, it's nice and settled. You don't want a pocket suddenly just giving out. But you want to water it in. There's going to be a little bit of air pockets. You want to get those air pockets out because air pockets will cause the roots to air prune. And you don't want that because then that the palm will just stop growing in that area and it won't utilize the entire pot for optimal growth. So I'm going to put this in 50% shade until it starts growing more into the pot and these like full sun at a younger age. So once they kind of start putting out um, pinnate leaves, you know, split leaves. I'll put them out here in the full sun. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You wanna make sure also that when you put your plants together, you don't wanna have, let's say this is the other three gallon pot, you don't wanna put them side to side like that. Cause when they get bigger, the leaves are gonna overlap. You're gonna have more of a, uh, a fungal issue or possible fungal issue, possible leaf spotting. Um, and they're just gonna kinda grow into each other and you don't wanna, um, you just don't want to crowd them out. So anyway, that's uh, that's how I pot up my Alfredi eyes and a lot of other of my seedlings. So I will do other ones for uh, deeper rooting plants. And for those that are a little more complicated, but this is a simple way to repot a seedling into a three gallon. From here, you can probably just plant it right in the ground. So that's pretty much it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and a comment and uh, have any questions and I'm willing to Make any video you guys want about uh, palms or other tropicals. So have a good day.